Lord, thank you so very much for giving me this opportunity to share God's love, the importance of ordinations. And the ordination in Chicago was profound because when I lay down there, the Lord reveals to me the Blessed Virgin Mary pregnant, on the pregnancy, and that pregnancy reveals to me that all of us are birthed with Jesus. We have to give Jesus out as a Blessed Virgin Mary did to everybody, uh, to all of us today. Uh, more especially, this is almost my one year now, so I'm very proud to be uh, celebrating, to be here and now at the Solanus Casey Center. I have been working with uh, my, my director, Father David, uh, the center here at Solanus Casey, praying with people has been one of my biggie celebrating mass, so, so profound, especially Easter Sunday. Behold your Savior. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him, the Prince of Peace. Behold the victorious King who resurrected and bring hope where there is no hope. The instrument of peace, hatred, is now love. Darkness is now light. Disappointment is now courage. Behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, a man where God is with us. Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world, our healer, our comforter, our strength. Behold him. And blessed are those who are welcome to the supper of the Lamb. But most importantly, though, what is so profound for me, my priesthood, what it's about, is about sharing God's love. It's about bringing God mercy, especially during confessions. As we Confessions, reconciliation is one of my, you know, big, biggest uh, joy because I share God's love with people, especially when I see their sin has junk in their basement to clean up and they can relate to that or not taking shower for days and weeks. So when you wash or taking your dirty clothes to the laundry, it's the kind of images that pull people together to actually know that they need to be closer to God. And reconciliation for me is not just only about sin. It's about God love, God freedom, God peace, and God joy. Take the dirty clothes and wear good clothes is all about it. And praying with people, as I've mentioned, beside that, I have been able to work with other ministry, like the Chaldeans, uh, will be inviting me for retreat, which is very beautiful. I love to do that. And uh, praying with uh, different prayer groups all over the world, especially the people from uh, adoration groups from uh, Nigeria. I've been praying with them. And uh, here at Salanus Casey, you know, working at the soup kitchen, helping the poor, more especially this pandemic period. It's the time we go out and be at the front line like Solanus KC did in 2000, I mean 1929, when he fed the poor. So we are doing the same thing that he did, going out there and feeding the poor, even though we start to keep our distance. But we still have to feed those who are hungry. They need it. And it's about building community, like I shared last time at the, during the Solanus KC verifications, that everybody here in the stadium, we are about coming together because of God, and we are about building community. Community within and outside Detroit. Community in your home. So coming together as the children of God and become a minister, because my uncle once told me, he was a priest. He said, you are a priest. They ask him, you are a priest. You don't have children. You don't have, have nobody. It's, we every, all the family have their kid and everything. And look at everybody. He look at everybody in the church. He look at the whole church. I am the father of everybody here. Lawyers comes to me. Doctors come to me. 
everybody comes to me for advice. So I am a father of many people. So that is the value of becoming a priest, a value that you can, people can call on you and share God's love. You can talk to them and give them hope because hope does not disappoint. And for many people who are, you know, finding a way to look for their vocation, men and women out there, in fact, when you become a priest or religious sister, you do more because you become a mother and father of many people. You, are, you have a open hands, and God bless you. People bless you. You can reach out to a lot of people. So do not waste your vocations. Continue to seek the face of God because I can tell from my experience, I can become a refugee to become a priest. It is that not something? Three years and still I am, my former community was suppressed. I'm still standing. You know, it gives you a lot of energy and strength. Do not allow the enemy to blink, to quench your own calling. And so I am full with joy today to share God's love that my first year uh, priesthood vocations has been very, very uh, uh, joyful for me, even though in the midst of struggle as we are passing through now with the pandemic, we use every tool. Sometimes I go to the basement and fix the statues and do painting. There's something that brings me hope and joy. Write my poetry and, and prayer, like one of my prayer that will be read, say, as I arise today. It's a beautiful poem. Beautiful prayer that brings hope to a lot of people. So don't waste any, any time. Don't, waste, don't say because you are not doing this, you cannot do this. Just keep yourself together. Share God's love. Do something. You have the talent. You have your gift. Use it to the glory of God. That is all about vocations. Nothing to struggle about. Just be one day at a time and be faithful in the present moment. So thank you so very much for giving me this opportunity to share God's love, a little preamble of my one-year priestly vocation. Stay blessed, and may Jesus be Jesus for you. Thank you.